The Cambodian deaf community is now learning a national sign language. We wanted to bring you a feature piece about one U.S. scholar who is making a difference throughout their community. Well, when I first started my study for my PhD, I read an article about there being no sign language in Cambodia. So I kept wondering how that was possible and if it was true. I wanted to see it for myself. Erin Moriarty Harrelson is one of the five students to be chosen for the National Geographic's first ever Fulbright Digital Storytelling Fellowship. A Fulbright Scholarship is also one of the most coveted grants among scholars. Oh, I felt like I had no chance at all. Plus, they were only going to pick five people. That's it. And it was their first time offering. So when they actually picked me, I was shocked. She will stay in Cambodia for nine months. I observed them teaching sign language to deaf people who have never seen sign language before. It's really fascinating for me to see that there are really deaf people who really have no other form of you know, communication except to just point at things. The National Geographic also asked that Aaron focus on documenting culture. It's really just a different kind of community, a different way of connecting with each other and bonding with loved ones and family. I do see a lot of similarities. Here, deaf people have the tendency to prefer being around other deaf people or they prefer to be with other people who sign. That way, there's more of an exchange of ideas and communication. That's the same with the U.S. The Khmer Rouge led the country as a communist government for years and was known for horrific genocide. Among other things, this stopped a national sign language from forming. It's dissolved within the last few decades, and it has sparked groups like the Deaf Development Program in Cambodia. They all keep telling me that they have nothing. They need actual documentation. They need information. They need someone to show the government what it's like in the life of a deaf person. So that's really my goal, to provide them with the research they need so they can support their community. Erin says it's been quite the learning process living in Cambodia. There is one cultural mistake that I made without realizing it. During dinner, we have some sort of rug that we put down and the food goes on top of the rug. And we all sat around it and ate. I stood up and walked over the corner where there was food and I didn't think much of it and just stepped over the corner, but they were all very upset. I guess you aren't supposed to walk over the rug when there's food on top of it. I apologize for my mistake, of course. With laughter also comes a sense of responsibility. I'm the only deaf person. It's my responsibility to set a good precedent for deaf people. That way, they will be more willing to give deaf people this fellowship in the future. Erin returns home this summer. For me, it's more about spreading awareness of how language is developed and how that process works and why sign language is specifically so important.